I have got my cup of green tea because I'm not going to lie, it's very early for a Sunday. It's about like 9.15, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm awake. Anyway, that's commitment to my channel, so subscribe. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to my channel so in case you can't tell I am channeling my green vibe today I've got my green top on I'm actually gonna be doing some green eyeshadow got my amazing um, eyeshadow palette from revolution which I will be using today I'm meaning to film this for like a month and um, I went to Bath and I bought some of the Fenty foundation um, I have it here with me and I'm gonna be doing a review and it's perfect weather conditions for a wear test just to see how it holds in like the sun and the heat. If you're ever struggling with colour matching, never be afraid to just ask at Boots counter and just ask them to colour match you. So when I went into Boots I just said to her that this is my shade in a different foundation, so I'm 6.5 in L'Oreal. And then I um, I said to her what do you think would best match my skin for a Fenty foundation? So she just got loads of the samples and then she just put them um, like on the net. She managed to colour match me to shade. 280. So this foundation is actually £30. I bought well, I bought it for £30, but I think in boots now you can get it for about £22. Just so you're aware, the foundations, they also have um like a concealer that matches with it. Just keep that in, in mind if you want to get the combination of both concealer and foundation, which is actually really, really good for like first time makeup artists and stuff. Really gorgeous packaging. Um I love the matte because this is actually a matte foundation. So um, a lot of the reviews that I read were that it's really long lasting. It's actually very lightweight. Um, so you're probably wondering why my hair's in French plaits today. Well, I have had it in French plaits for two days straight now. And um, my plan was to leave them in for two days and sleep with them in for two days. And then I wanted to take them out on camera to show you whether it worked and whether it made my hair actually curly or not. So I'm planning to run a straightener through them. I'm gonna run a straightener just on top of them. So like get my straightener and then run them like that on top because then that will solidify my curls. You probably didn't know this, but when I was younger, like an actual child, I actually had like proper curly hair, like proper ringlets. But now I um, just have really, really frizzy hair. So <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so now I have put the primer all over my face now. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the new foundation and I'm going to actually put it on. Oh my gosh, my tea's right there. Imagine if that fell in. Ew. Okay. So I'm just going to put it like a few pumps because I don't know how much I'll need. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. Let's just see how well four does. That's really, really light. I'm a bit nervous now. Okay. It does look a little bit light, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to go with it because I've also got the Fenty Beauty bronzer. So, oh my gosh, honestly, this actually feels amazing on my skin. I don't want to bash any brands, but I'm pretty sure no one watches these videos. So the one brand that I can't stand is Huda Beauty Foundation. Um, it's extremely sticky and it's just like extremely uncomfortable, very, very sticky. What is that spot? Um, let's just see how well that cover covers that. Up. I think this amount of foundation that I put on was actually just right um, because I do like caking it. So just a reminder, if you are my complexion, then get 280 in Pro Filter Fenty because I actually do quite like this match. Um, the reason why is because if it was a little bit darker, then I mean, it's not an issue. You can always lighten up a darker foundation with concealers. But if you do want that perfect, perfect match, just get yourself colour matched. It's so worth it. And it doesn't take long at all. Like, they'll just do it for you for free. And they're so nice. They're always really kind and very willing to help in boots. So just go for it. Just get yourself colour matched to a Fenty foundation. Um, okay, so this is all blended into my skin now. So first impressions of it now that it's blended in. Let's zoom in. Like, it is incredibly comfortable. Like, and it is flawless. Where's that spot gone? Where's the spot gone? Do you know, like, there was a spot right there and it's, I don't, I can barely see it. 
and like there's not many creases on the side of my nose which normally happens and it's just so like airbrushed like is it just me like i'm just gonna go off camera i'm gonna do the rest of my face my eyes everything and then i'm gonna come back and i am going to take out my hair on camera for you guys Fenty Beauty like bronzer so I thought I'll actually just might as well review that in this video as well because I'm just I've already done a Fenty foundation I've got the Fenty bronzer I've also got a Fenty lip gloss so I'm just going to review all three so this can be like a Fenty like holistic Fenty review <laughs> so this is the bronzer I really love the packaging a lot I love the hexagonal design I don't know why um and it is in the the shade caramel cute but this has an extremely vast range of skin shades um which i love so anyway i just i just take my brush and i just go like this and because it is a bronzer you do want to build it up you don't want to put all of it on at once wondering why my concealer is not blended out is because if you let it dry on your skin just for like maybe one or two minutes and you let it sit there before you blend it out it actually has such um, a more effective coverage Okay, so I'm almost done. I have done pretty much everything apart from my lips. So I'm just going to do my lips on camera because I want to show you the Fenty lip gloss. My mirror's, my mirror's here, so I'm just going to look over here. But I just did the bottom and I'm just going to overline the top. So I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty lipstick. It's a matte one. This is the gorgeous Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Diamond Milk. I am just going to put this on top, okay? So I just usually put it in the centre and then drag it out. It's extremely moisturising and very soft on my lips. Like normally with, with like glosses, they're very sticky, but this is just so nice. It's so moisturising. I'm sure they put coconut in there or something like really nice, like a coconut oil or something like that. Um, Anyway, so now I'm just going to do my hair. So um, this is all, everything with the makeup. And <laughs> this is literally a foundation review and I haven't even reviewed the foundation. Hang on. <laughs> really impressed with this. I think it's so smooth. Like, how is it so airbrushed? Pro filter, soft matte, long wear foundation. So they've now heated up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run them off. <laughs> literally missed i can't see properly my like hand eye coordination is terrible I, I i just hope it looks good and not frizzy i did this i the last time i did this was probably three years ago me and em and vani we like went to um the pheasant okay i'm gonna take them out um why am i nervous i'm just nervous like i feel like it's gonna look really frizzy and if it does look frizzy then i'm not leaving my house today because i've slept on this for two days straight okay and it's not comfortable it's not very comfortable to sleep on on French plat. It looks so bad. Do I look like really beachy? Like, do I look. Is it cute? Is it cute? It's different. You know, like channeling Kate vibes from Lost. Yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm channeling Kate vibes from Lost right now. Okay. Um, I think I can. I think I'm just gonna go out like this. I think I am. I think I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna try my best to like work it. I'm going to just see whether it holds up. Just see whether the foundation holds up in 20 degrees heat when I'm out and about. When I'm sweating a little bit on my face, maybe like I have medium skin, so it's not oily. It's not dry. It's literally medium. So when I go out, I'm just gonna see whether it holds up in all the conditions um and i will do my review when i get back so cool okay i'll check in um in maybe 12 13 hours hello hello i'm back and it has been what's the time 807 so it's been about almost 12 hours i'd say around 11 hours i just got back from cardiff um I went, it was actually really fun, we just went for food and some drinks, and we were mostly outside, so that means I can, I have kind of put this foundation to its true test. To be honest, it has been 11 hours, and I wouldn't have expected it to stay matte, plus it never implied that it would stay matte for more than 12 hours, it never said that on the packaging, so I didn't expect it. However, I can see that it has not stayed matte, and I'm okay with that, I really am okay with that, because none of my, I've never had a foundation that has stayed matte throughout the day. 
towards the end of the day usually you can see some sort of like oils come through the tiniest bit of oxidization you can barely tell so i don't even blame it for that either i literally did no touch-ups throughout the day at all so i think overall nine out of ten it's a really good foundation so we've reached the end of the video and thank you so so much for watching um i am really impressed with this foundation i think it's pretty much up there with the milani one which is like my favorite one um so if you are looking for a foundation which is full coverage with a matte finish very moisturizing um comes in all different shades and an, a variety of tones um and you want something that's slightly mid-range then go for the fenty soft matte foundation thank you everybody for watching and i will catch up with you in the next video no, I, I'm just